Hey guys, I know some of you really enjoyed the series that I did last year on my channel about saving money and my expenses. And I figured in today's video, I'm simply going to talk about my New York City expenses. As the title of this video probably suggests, I'm living off $1,300 in New York City. In this video, I'm simply gonna break it down for you how much I spend in each category. I'm not gonna go into too much detail. I'm simply gonna give you a breakdown of my fixed expenses and on where the rest of my money goes. My biggest expense is rent. Rent, including utilities, is $500 for me. Please bear in mind, I share a room with my babe. I know that most of you might not be able or willing to share a room with someone, but I'm living in a two bedroom apartment in Bushwick in Brooklyn, and I'm sharing a room with my babe. The building that I'm living in is actually rent controlled, meaning they're not allowed by law to raise the rent if one, two, three, ten more people were to move into this place. That's why the rent didn't go up with me being here, a third person living in the apartment. So that works out really well for me. And utilities are usually fairly low, but as I said, $500 includes rent and utilities. Public transportation is a big one. I obviously use public transportation pretty much every day and it's roughly 120. The monthly ticket is 116.50, but for the purpose of this video, I figured I'm gonna round up. Then there's food. Initially, I wanted to be at roughly $200. I did the same. In London, my budget was 200 pounds per month and usually I was just fine. Most months I spent 150 pounds. Some months I spent as little as 100 pounds. But in New York City, that's not possible for me. So my food budget ranges between, or my expenses range between 160, 70 and 250. So for the purpose of this video, again, simply want to simplify it. I chose $250 because $250 is the absolute max I spend on my groceries every single month. Then there's laundry. I go to a laundromat. It's $225 per load. I do one load per week and round it up. That makes $10 per month that I spent on washing my clothing as well as my babe's clothing. My phone bill is super low. I use Wi-Fi whenever I can, so I don't have a data plan, but obviously have texts and minutes. And I only pay roughly 10 bucks per month. That is it for my fixed, more or less fixed expenses. Of course, food varies, but the rest of the expenses, rent, laundry, and my phone bill, are pretty much the same every single month and that makes $890 per month for my fixed expenses and then for the remaining 400 something dollars that usually is spent on travel, trips, moving around, technical equipment, household goods, if I need anything out of the ordinary healthcare products, my hobbies, such as making soap, making my own body butter, that money goes towards that. And there's enough breathing space for me. $400 might mean, might be nothing for you. For me, that's lots of money to play around with. And I'm sure now that I'm all set with most things, I will be able to save even more, but the $1,300 for me is just fine. As I said, if I spend more one month, I will make up for it the following months. If I spend less, great. I know that it's not gonna work for everyone. I'm really frugal. I don't go out to eat a lot. I don't purchase luxury items or things that I don't 
deem essential. I buy most things secondhand. In London I also had a gym membership that was £25 per month. I no longer have that. I do yoga every single morning with just plain YouTube videos and I freaking love it. Sometimes I do go to yoga events but overall I have almost zero expenses in that area of my life. I'm really happy and content with my current setup. So if I want you to take away anything from this video then it would simply be save where you can save, look at all the areas of your life where you could potentially save more and simply be playful with it, have some fun. Oh, how cheap could my phone plan be? Or could I find a cheaper apartment? All those things. It doesn't have to be daunting. I really enjoy saving money, but I also enjoy spending money on things I really enjoy. And that's of course traveling, moving, and just enjoying life. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, shoot them my way. You can always comment down below. Even if they're personal, I don't mind answering personal questions, especially when it comes to my finances, because I'm really open with it. And let me know if you have any saving tips. I always love to hear other people's tricks for saving money. I hope you enjoyed. Have a lovely day and see you guys next time.